we've been talking about it all offseason, talking about the Las Vegas Raiders and their pass rushers and diff, uh, different uh, players you make sure you want to watch. Obviously, Max Crosby, yes. Obviously, Chandler Jones, yes. Like, there's a lot of guys you want to watch. But after preseason game one, Hall of Fame game versus the Jacksonville Jaguars, one thing is for certain. Malcolm Coons is quietly making a name for himself. That's right. Absolutely. You talk about a guy, you know, played 24 total pass rushing snaps for the Raiders uh, on, uh, what was it, Thursday? Yeah. Anyway, uh, had a total of three pressures, a 12.5% pressure rate, a 68.8 pressure grade. Now, you, you take a look at these and it's not staggering. It's not necessarily that impressive. Did not have a sack. Uh, but it's it's the, the, the truth lies in the tape. If you watch that game, if you watch number 51 getting after it on the edge, you could just see the way that he was impacting the game really went beyond the stat sheet. And I, we really talked about it a little bit uh, a little bit last night when we talked about a little bit of a recap of uh, what was going on. Oh, well, it was this morning. But anyway, uh, we, we talked about how his impact goes beyond the statue. We talked about how the fact that you know, getting off those tackles, getting pressure on the quarterback really does seem to do wonders uh, in terms of getting that those quarterbacks off balance. And you could see it in the Jaguars' offense. They were very rarely on, on, up on beat. They were not um, comfortable at all. They, they did not move the ball very effectively the entire game. And it really started because Malcolm Kuntz was getting uh, pressure on the quarterback. Now, again, you want to take a look at a guy that what was it? Played like something under 20 snaps last year, had a total of two sacks. So obviously, you know, the, pr the potential is there. But if you take a look at actual pressure rates uh, and how that actually equates to uh, making an impact on the game, that's the most important thing here because sacks can be so misleading. You can have a guy, you could do a stun, a guy pushes the guy into you, you get the sack, blah, 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 blah. Sacks are so misleading, but when you have a guy like Malcolm Coons that is coming off the edge again, watch the tape. Watch the tape of what this man can do in terms of his hand usage, uh, being disruptive, doing, I believe he even had, did he, I believe, did he have a pass deflection as well? So, you know, there's just so many things that he is going to bring to the Raiders. Yes, he's probably not going to be a starter. I understand that. But nonetheless, he is still a player that you want to make sure you're watching out for because I do feel like he is going to be a player that continues to wreak havoc on opposing offensive lines and does uh, put pressure on opposing quarterbacks. Um, and I think he's going to be the perfect either stopgap or rest play that you bring in to be able to be that guy because I, I think the potential is there. I think he's going to be a guy that could have that five, six, uh, seven type sack season because he just continues to bring it off the edge. Um, and I, again, I do think it does go back to the fact of, you know, it's not just about sacks. It's all the different things that you do to put the offense out of their groove. And I think Malcolm Coons, uh, Malcolm Coons did a great job of that last night. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. I'm going to get rid of my pen. Uh, like and subscribe down below. Uh, make sure you guys also give us a like and a follow on all of our social media platforms and give us a listen on iTunes. We'd greatly appreciate it. But at the end of the day, um, let us know what you guys think about Malcolm Coons quietly making a name for himself.